Hello, and welcome to Building Stronger Budget versus Actual Reporting in Sage Intact, where we will be covering how to better leverage the out-of-the-box financial report writer for your reporting needs. To get started, I'd like to show some examples of ways that building out your reporting in the financial report writer can assist you and your organization. First, you can build out detailed reports for both budgets and budget versus actual scenarios. You can create current year-to-date forecasting reports, expanding on time periods, whether that is quarterly or monthly. And finally, maybe there's an existing report you have built and would like to expand on it by including one of the options we will discuss on the next slides for further analysis. A quick dive into the different options you have related to budgets for your reporting columns are budget, like actuals, will provide the values of the budget selected from the budget repository, variance, provides the variance between two scenarios shown as a percentage. Difference provides the difference between actuals minus budget or budget minus actuals. And ratio provides the ratio of the budget compared to the actuals. Next, we have our budget forecast options, which are remaining budget, and that will provide the amount of budget remaining after deducting, deducting the actuals for a certain period. Forecast, full period, now this option assumes that the budgeted amount is entered on the first day of the reporting period and uses the budgeted values for the entire current period as well as for future periods. Actuals are only included for prior periods. And forecast prorated, which provides a prorated look for partial periods as opposed to the forecast full period option. Now let's cover some example builds with a selection of these column types along with some other features of this reporting. To get started, we're gonna take a look at this simple actual versus budget with a difference. And as you can see here in the financial report writer, we have three columns, our actuals, our budget, and the budget difference, which as you can see on the right, will show the remaining balance of the budget for the period selected. Next is our simple actual versus budget report we just saw, but including visual indicators. Now. This visual indicator shows when the budget difference is less than zero and highlights that directly in your report in red. Our third example is a forecast report. Now, this report in the financial report writer is using the column type of forecast prorated with a period of the current year expanded by month. Now this is run mid-year, so you can see that the prior periods are all actuals, with the future periods being forecast and budget. The next example we are going to take a look at is an actual versus budget report expanded, but in the incorrect way. Taking a look at this, we see that the budget versus actual report is expanded by month on both the actual and budget columns, well, but the problem is they're not side by side. We'd expect to see month ending 131 of actuals and operating budget side by side. What is causing this to appear on the way that you see on the screen is that the actuals column is on a time period of current year to date while the budget is current year. So even though both are expanded by months, the columns are not grouping correctly. If you have set up the report correctly, this is how it should appear. The columns are using the same period, so Sage Intact automatically groups on that expand by. This can also be used in conjunction with the differences and variance column types. So now that we've covered that, let's get into some demos. As you can see, I'm already here in my demo instance of Sage Intact, and we're gonna jump right into some report builds. To do that, I'm going to drop down my Applications tab, Reports, make sure I'm on All, and select Report Center. We're going to create this basically from scratch, so to do that, I'm just going to select New Report, create a new report, and we'll give this one a name. To start, we're just going to do a simple Actuals versus Budget report. name so it's easy to find. We'll call this current year. 
We'll select our rows. We'll just need to change that assets. And move on to our columns. As you can see here, we already have our actuals column. So we just want to make sure that it's updated to our current year, like we named it. And we'll add our next column. Now in our column, column type, we'll select that budget column type that we discussed before, and we'll leave our budget as budget. But if you were selecting a different budget, all you need to do is drop down and select another budget you may be reporting on. We'll update our reporting period, leave that as is. We're gonna come back to our actual column and expand by time periods. We'll expand by months and we'll do the same on budget. Now, if I give this date, we'll just preview this report to see how it looks currently. And as you can see here, we have our actual column and our budget column grouped by that expanded by month. Now let's say we want to show that variance and also include some conditional formatting on that. So to do that, I'm simply going to add another column. We're going to call it budget minus actual difference. Make sure it's our budget. And we'll also expand this by our time period of months. So as you can see here, I'm already in my demo instance of Sage intact, and we're just gonna jump right into our report builds. So to do that, I'm gonna drop down my applications tab, navigate to my reports and my report center. Now the first report we're going to take a look at is just a simple actual versus budget report. So to do that, I'm just gonna click new report up here in the top right, select create a new report, and we'll give this a name that's defined. In this case, just actual versus budget. We'll move on to our rows, select our account group. In this case, it'll be change in that assets. Select include in report and hit okay. Now we have our change in that assets as our rows. So we'll move on to columns. As you can see here, we already have our actual column, but we're gonna update our reporting period to current year from current month so that later we can expand this by our months on the report. So I'm simply gonna drop down to add a column to the right, select our column type dropdown and select budget under budget. Now this auto filled to the budget we were going to be reporting on, but if you would like to select a different budget, simple as dropping this down and selecting the budget you'd like to report on. We want to update our reporting period to current year to match. And we'll take a look at this report under the date and we'll preview it. So as we can see here, we're getting our year-end balance of actuals and budget for 2022, broken out by our GL accounts. Now, if we wanted to expand this by months, all we need to do is click into our column and on our expand by field, select that. We'll select expand by time periods and expand months. We'll do the same on our budget. expand by months and set. We're also going to add our budget variance column so that we can see the difference between these two values. So to do that, I'm gonna drop down my column type, actual minus budget difference, make sure it's the right budget, update our reporting period again. And we're going to do the same thing for our expand by time period. Select months, set, and now when we preview this, if all goes well, 
we will see each month for each three columns. So we see our actuals, our budget, and then our actuals minus budget for January, February, March, and so on. One final thing we can do for this report is utilize our visual indicators. So for this, we are going to work in our actuals minus budget difference and select conditional highlighting. With that selected, we are given this option to edit rules. And we want this to be when it is less than or equal to zero. Highlight it as red. So now when we run this report, any column that either equals zero or is the budget exceeds the actuals are highlighted in red. So with that done, I'm just gonna hit save and done. Click okay. And there we have it, our actual versus budget report. The next report we are going to create is a current year forecast report. So to do that, I'm going to just give it our current year forecast, similar to our actual source budget. I'm just going to give our change in net assets, include that in the report, and select OK. Now in columns, instead of leaving this actual column as is, we're going to update it to a budget forecast report, and we'll do full period in this case. We're gonna call it current year to date, and we will expand by months. Give it a date. And now when we preview this, preview this report, we can see that we currently have our actuals across all prior periods and our forecast for the current month. To show that a little better, I'm gonna go back a few months and preview this report again. As it's a current year to date, we are seeing up to 1031 2022, while the prior months are actuals. If we were to change this reporting period on our column to just current year, and rerun this report. We also see that Sage and Tech will pull in the budget amounts for the future months and not just the forecast for the current period and the actuals prior. Looking at this, I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to select save and done and hit okay. Thank you for watching our video on actuals versus budget reporting. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at grfcpa.freshdesk.com. Thank you.